Hey learners, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. In my previous video, we got to know what is a database, DBMS, RDBMS, and SQL. So now we know that SQL is a language that we use to talk to the database. But what are the different functionalities it has? What are the different operations we can perform using SQL? This is going to be the topic of our today's video. So let's get started. The SQL commands are primarily divided into five main categories. DDL, DML, DCL, TCL and DQL. Let's understand about them one by one. Let's start with DDL. So DDL stands for Data Definition Language. The set of SQL commands that we use to define or modify the table or a view in a database comes under this category. Let's talk about various DDL commands. The first one is create. So if you want to create a new table or a view, then we can use create command. If you want to delete a table or a view, we can use drop command. If you want to modify the structure of a table, then we can use alter command. Modifying a structure means you want to change the data type of a particular column. You want to add a new constraint in a column comes under alteration. So in order to do that, we can use alter command. Then we have truncate command. So if you have a table and you want to delete all the records from the table, then we can use truncate command. Moving ahead to DML, DML stands for data manipulation language. The SQL commands that we use to modify, to insert, to add or to delete data in the database comes under DML commands. The first DML command is insert. So if you want to insert a new record in a table, then you can perform it using insert command. The second one is update. If you want to modify the data in the table, then you can use update command. If you want to delete a specific record, then you can use delete command. Merge is a special command. Uh, in order to use merge, we need to have one source table and one target table. So in order to perform insertion, updation and deletion, in a, sim in a single SQL query, we need to use merge. So if you want to uh, create a new target table referring to the source table, then we can use merge command. So merge command will basically create a new target table based on the records that are inserted, updated or deleted in the source table. The third category is DCL. DCL stands for data control language. So the SQL commands that we use to manage the user access comes under DCL. There are two types of DCL commands that we have. The first one is grant. So if you want to uh, grant access of a particular table or a view to a new user, then you can use grant command. Similarly, if you want to revoke the access of a particular user for a specific table or a view, then you can use revoke command. The fourth one is TCL. TCL stands for transaction control language. So the SQL commands that manages the transactions happening in a database comes under TCL. The first TCL command is commit. So if you have performed any transaction, let's say insertion of a new record in a table and you want to make the changes permanent, then you can use commit command. The second command is rollback. Rollback command is used to undo the changes. Let's say you have inserted some records in a table and by mistake you have performed a, a wrong data entry. Then you, if you want to undo those changes, you can use rollback command. The third one is save point. So a save point is a command in SQL that is used with the rollback command. To understand this, let's say you are entering the data in a particular table. You have inserted 10 records. After inserting 10 records, you have declared a save point. After that, you, are in, you have started inserting new records. And after inserting 5 more records, you got to know that you have inserted the corrupted data. And you want to roll back the changes that you have performed after creating a save point. And you want to go to that point, then you can use save point command. So it is used along with rollback. Please note that uh, the TCL commands are just used with DML, com uh, DML commands. 
because other commands like creation of a table, dropping a table or granting an access, these are considered to be permanent. So we don't need to do, uh, we need to, we don't need to perform any commit or uh, declaring a save point for these transactions. The fifth type is DQL. Under DQL, we have only one SQL command that is select. Select command is used for the data retrieval from a table. If you are working as a data analyst or business analyst, then for 95% of the cases, you will be working on this SQL command that is select statement. Whereas if you are working as a data engineer or a database administrator, then you might use the other SQL commands more frequently as well. So we will be discussing about the SQL select statement in more detail in the next video. If you like this video, please do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.